Hi guys, and welcome to another What Monthly Best Replay. Replays. This is my best replay from January, apparently. My best game. Uh, and if we just look at the stats on screen, you can see. So this was on the 11th of the 1st, 2023. Um, I did 3,883 damage, 1403 base XP, and 6 tanks destroyed. This uh, was uh, probably about my 10th or 15th game in the BZ, so I'm kind of getting used to it. It's my second game, I think, on this map. The first game wasn't too bad, but wasn't brilliant. And as you can see, <laughs> top tier against fucking tier 5s. Look at that matchmaking. Two tier 7s. Two tier 7s. Uh, and we both got the same. We both got a BZ and we both got a T28. Sorry, T29. So this is where I tend to usually try to go to in a tank on this map now. Um, be it a heavy tank, a medium tank or whatever. As long as it's a tank with decent gun depression, this is where I go because... Unless you get the, an, an enemy team pushing like these guys in the middle and your team not killing them, um, this is generally a decent spot to go to. Oh, and there's the RT already, the lefty. See a lot of him the rest of the game. I've not got much health though, I've like literally lost 500 hit points already. How the hell is this going to be my best game? Well... <laughs> Yeah, we'll see later. I mean, I don't know what this light tank's doing sitting behind me. Also, I don't know what this beadhead's doing later on. Um, this VK is just sitting there being an idiot. Um, yeah, there we go. BZ again. Just driving forward. No one's shooting them. We've got an M10 RBFM and a Jackson behind, us, behind me doing nothing. I track him and then track him again. And someone does actually start shooting him, but he can just get plenty of shots off. Uh, now I'm 200. I mean, I don't know what this dude's doing behind me. He, he's literally... He's a light tank trying to... I don't know. Just trying to... I don't know. But... To be fair, he does help me later on, so I was a bit annoyed with him being behind me, but he does kind of wake up in a minute. He's kind of just getting in the way at the minute as well, which is not good. He does move though now, he's kind of realised he needs to move out of the way. T29's been a bit of a pain in the ass. Although that was a bit of an overpeak from him. I'm not sure why he did that, but he did. Oh, listen to that whiz bang from the lefty. Now I'm trying to get up here, and this is unfortunately the problem on this side is that it's harder to get up than the other side. The other side, it's a nice gradual slope which you can get onto. This side, we've got this little bit of a ridge here which is impossible to get up to, but it does give you a slightly better chance of defending it. So. Pros and cons. You have to you have to drive to where the T thirty uh, sorry the T twenty nine is basically to, to get up there. So we've won the town. I mean we we're just winning this game easily. There's most majority of the well, half of the rest of the enemy team is here, plus at the back camping, so I did try and get up, and you know, wargaming's physics mean that I just slide onwards. And then this is where the little tanky helps me. He gives me a quick shove. Nice. Lefty carries on going. And I actually managed to get up here now, and let's get rid of this pesky fucking T29, man. I've had enough of you. Oh, there's the Lefty. Great player. 
now this <laughs> this is a bit stupid by me now I mean this uh, I, I don't know how I survived well I do know how I survived this their BZ player is an idiot um, and nearly as idiotic as me I can't actually fucking pen him I'm auto aimed he's firing HG um, and for some reason I bounce I'm auto aiming on him and I bounce so let's just get closer someone else kills him thankfully but yeah he fired HE because that's what you do, isn't it, in a top tier heavy tank against other top tier heavies. Oh, there's the lefty again. They're gradually whittling me away, look. I can't really take one more hit now, even from the lefty. I'm at 48 hit points. 45 hit points. 45 hit points. We've still got four tanks to kill. I mean. Well, there's the lefty spotted. And again, this is. I, I don't know what I'm trying to do. Here. Well, I do know what I'm trying to do here, but I don't know why I'm just spazzing out my final shots. I mean, literally, this one. It's like that. Peak and. What the hell? <laughs> so, my team are now firing HE at him, which is great. I've, I actually managed to aim a shot. Yay! Oh no, it's the Sema Venti coming to get me. You know, oh, maybe he isn't. Semolina tank, bye bye. Right, so that's it. We've got we've got four kills now. Kills for folks. Oh, Hellcat, Hellcat wants to kill me. And guess what, Hellcat? That's not happening. Not on my watch. I've got one more kill. Do I get the Leffy or do I get the M10 RBFM? Read the bloody fucking manual tank. And yeah, we get the uh, RBFM. He got a shot in, but it was only a crit. Yeah, that's it. Six kills. Four kills with 45 hit points. But then again, I was top tier. Now we have the battle results. So yeah, it was an ace tanker, not surprisingly. I think I also got every other medal in the game. Um, so we've got a Demolition Expert, Reaper, Fire for Effect, Hellproof, Duelist, Hand of God, Top Gun, Steel Wall, Spartan, and High Caliber. So yeah, I was uh, literally probably the uh, probably yeah, must have been my best game in that tank. I mean, I did like the tank; it was a great tank. So um, I can't complain it. Complain about that. So you look at the team score. So yeah, 3,383 damage, 1,403 base XP. We've said all that. Um, the best player on the enemy team was that bloody Leffy, look. 1,420 with three kills. Tier 5. People said the Leffy is, isn't broken. Yep, yep. Yes, it is. Their BZ, 556. What did he do? Yeah, seven shots fired, six hits, two penned. They were both on me, and the rest was splash damage. I why he was firing HE at the end, I have no idea, but he just was. I fired 19 shots, 16 hit, 14 penned. So yeah, that wasn't a bad, bad, bad game, was it? I mean, the rest of the team kind of did their bit. The T-150 had a good game, actually. 2.3k two, and 5 kills. So between us, we got 11 kills. Wow. What did he get? He got Pascucci's. Ah, he killed the RT. He killed both the RT. Good job, sir. Well done. Yeah, he had a good game. The T-150. I'm surprised that's not... I mean, for a tier 6 tank, I'm su but then again, he probably wasn't damaging tier 7s. But then again, I wasn't really, was I? Only, only, well, two. I did plenty of damage to the T-29. And, and I kind of just made the BZ crap himself a bit. I uh, hit him twice and I hit him three times. So, yeah. I guess I did damage to my own tier tanks, which probably helped boost it. Detailed report. Seen all that. So, um, 56,000 end for battle. Personal reserve bonus for 58,000, so it's 84,000. I fired shitloads of gold and consumables. So, I only made 38,000. Well, no, still, still positive, I guess. Still positive. Ace tanker in the uh, BZ58. I still like that tank. I think that is probably my favourite of the 
Uh, well, apart from the BZ-176, which is just broken, I think this one is my favourite of the, of the Chinese heavies. And this is the Tier 7 one. So I'll be coming back to this tank at some point. I'll need to get a new crew for it. I'll, uh, I'll probably train one up in the BZ. I'll put this crew back. I mean, I've got... I think I've, I think I've researched the Tier 10. Yeah, yeah. I've researched the Tier 10. So I actually quite like the BZ-68 as well, to be fair. This is not a bad tank. Haven't played the 166, but from what I've heard, it's garbage. And the same for the Tier 10. So uh, this is not going to be a tank I'm buying anytime soon. Maybe at some point if it comes top of the tree, I'll think about buying it. But until then, until then, we'll stick with the BZ-58 and the BZ-68. And obviously the BZ-176. Well, there you go. So that was my best game of January. Um, it was also my best, most destroyed tanks in a game. So it was two out of the three games. My third game was the object... <laughs> My most played vehicle, funnily enough, was the Object 780 with 145 battles. The BZ-68 was then next with 99 battles, and the Lorraine 52 with 92 battles. Uh, my top assistance in a game, which is the third game, the third, the third type of game, the, the third type of battle you get, was um, in <laughs> the Object 780 with 4,923 assistance. Might have to have a look at that one just just for shits and giggles to see see what I did. I, I'm guessing lots of tracking, uh, or maybe maybe some spotting. It wasn't live up, so you never know. Um, I don't know whether we won that or not. To be fair, I'll have to have, go back and have a look. Anyway, that's enough for my best best game of the month. What was your best game of the month? Let me know in the comments. Um, do you think this is a good idea for Huawei War Gaming? I actually like this monthly thing. I think it's really really good. Okay. Thanks guys, thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, please hit the subscribe button. And you'll be notified when I do new videos. Uh, it's, it seems to be less often than not at the moment. But that's just been due to personal reasons. So we'll be trying to ramp that up again soon. Thanks for watching. And I'll catch you all again next time. Please allow me to introduce myself. I'm a man of wealth and of peace. I rode a tank, held a general's rank, when the front line drained and the team just sank. Whoa! Pleased to meet ya, don't you guess my name? Oh yeah! Oh, what's puzzling you is the nature of this game. Ha ha!